Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Steven Breach coming to you here. And honestly, uh, maybe I am looking a little bit uh, into this a little bit too much. But uh, when I was cruising through the WB shops, uh, uh, they call it the super sale. I call it the winter clearance. Um, just when they're blowing out their their um, product there, I think I'm a little bit scared for the group Nexus. I mean, normally when you see um, a superstar or a group or anything like that, you see their um, merch going in the clearance section, you know something's going up. And uh, I noticed uh, I noticed uh, that they had um, the classic Nexus shirt, this one right here. Uh, they had that one up in there for only like eight dollars uh, on the uh, on the Nexus shop the other day. So I was actually really surprised to see that. I think that's a a real popular shirt, probably one of the most popular ones they were selling uh, throughout the summer. Uh, they probably sold more Cena uh, orange and purple ones uh, than the Nexus shirt, maybe. But besides that, I think it was the most popular shirt that. They were selling like crazy, like bananas out of there. And yeah, they did come up with a new shirt, which is this one that I that unboxed yesterday. But I was still surprised to see the, the classic Nexus shirt. I, I see the classic Nexus shirt turning out to be what the um, classic NWO shirt is. You know, it's, it's a hard-to-find shirt today. No one really wants to get rid of it if anybody has it. Um, the ones that you can find like on eBay are um, cheap rip-off replicas that are uh, just, you know, uh, just remake reprints, not even uh, WWE shirts, and um, just frankly, they don't they don't stand up to the, the quality of what a real T-shirt would be. Probably when you wash it a few times, it'll shrink or fall apart on you. So uh, n nobody really wants those ones. But they they also have a lot of the other Nexus items that they've came out with, and uh, being the hats, the beanies, um, scarves, stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe Nexus has finally run its course. I mean, every every good thing does have to come to an end. But I feel bad for these guys, just mostly because I think Way Barrett can stand alone right now as the main eventer on his own, uh, if he has to. But I feel I feel bad for the guys that um, you know just being in the group uh, makes them guys like uh, Otunga, who I think does have a future in the WB, but he um, just isn't there now. And I think if you let him on his own, I think that he will crash and fail. I think that that he will not. Um, reach the peak that he could if you keep uh, you know you keep him out there he's a little bit too green Justin Gabriel he's got one good move but I mean can he put on a good match on his own with their guys he's Slater we haven't really seen anything out of it all I mean he had the one standout performance at SummerSlam where he made uh, I believe he eliminated two of the WWE superstars um, in less than a few minutes I would think I thought that was really surprised I guess to me that made uh, made it seem like WWE saw something in this guy maybe that everybody else didn't see um, then you got um, uh, the guys that you know are, are brand new to the group, Husky Harris, and um, uh, my buddy that I just made the video about, uh, McGillicuddy, who I think has a bright, bright future in the WB. Is just as long as they don't they, they don't they don't do the wrong things with him. I I, I see him being a future champion uh, for the WB, um, but I, I I just think this group as a whole. Is feared, it, you know. It can main event any show, any pay per view out there. Um, but as singles out there, I don't even know if a lot of these guys out there are mid card status. I think a lot of these guys, um, look what what's happened to Darren Young, who's still on the Raw roster. Um, you know, he's he's on he's on not Heat, but he's on Superstars all the time, and he's just he's just not getting anywhere. And uh, I fear that's what's happened to these other guys. They they need to keep this group together. There's other storylines out there. Uh, besides for Cena, you can always turn them on anybody else out there, um, and, and just keep moving along with this group. I think if you if you if you kill off this group, uh, WWE is going to be searching for a big um, storyline out there that uh, is going to be hard to reach. I think Nexus is is one of the best things going. It is um, getting a little stale with the Cena, but honestly, you can just move it on to, to somebody else. And um, hell, you can even switch brands with it, push them over on SmackDown, and it'd be like it's it's a, it's a whole brand new thing. Um, but uh, hopefully I'm reading a little bit too into it, but I think with the WWE clearance, I'm, I'm a little scared for Nexus, and uh, I would love to, to see what anybody else says. I'm, I'm guessing that I'm going to get a lot of people saying that the Nexus storyline is uh, overrated, crashed and burned and done, and they, they'd you know, be glad if it moved along, but I was a pretty big Nexus fan, and I'd like to see uh, what these young superstars of the future are going to be doing.